back cooking with Rania, making dishes for Orthodox Easter. This Sunday, we have our lamb in the oven, and what are we making next? So the roasted artichokes are next, and this is a one-pound package of frozen artichokes that I defrosted. Okay. So you nice can, and easy. Nice and easy, and you can just duplicate the recipe for as many guests as you're having, but this would serve about four. Okay. And here, this is just orange peel. And all I did with the orange peel was just peel it and then julienne it. Okay. Kalamata olives go next. This is very Mediterranean. And here, well, it wouldn't be right if it didn't have, have garlic. garlic in it. So I <laughs> have so you're garlic. Be adding I have oil garlic, too. everybody. <laughs> <gasps> Surprise! And some tomatoes. That was a piece of basil. And capers. I just love the saltiness that the caper capers imparts. Are great. Just mm -hmm. yummo. I'm going to mix this together. Here's some olive oil. Yum. Nice Greek fruity olive oil. Greek olive oil is the best. A little bit of white wine. And the reason Greek olive oil is the best is not because I'm a Greek, but because <laughs> Greeks um, export the most amount of olives than anybody in the world. That is their crop. There's some basil. And the long and the short of it is, is that their olives are truly the best for olive oil, and you always want the first press. Which Where do you get Greek olive oil specifically? Everywhere. Really? Oh, okay. I don't know that I've ever yes. looked for it. Absolutely. Down in the Strip District, you can go to Stamoulis, you can go to Salonica, you can go anywhere. The Market okay. District has it. Everyone has Greek. Italian stores have Greek olive oil. Because it's that good. Oh, heck yeah. It's <laughs> yummo. And, you know, you'll see olive oil that says, you know, made... It's made in Italy, and it probably is, but chances are they might be making it with Greek olives. I see. So mix, 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 okay. 425 degrees. Put it on a parchment lined baking pan. Okay. Easy breezy. That is easy. Wow. All right. Are you ready now? I am. I can't For wait. For the reveal. Okay. So excited. Do you uh, want this big platter? Well, first, this? I'll pull this out and pray I don't drop it. Don't drop it. Oh, my gosh. Now you can put the platter okay. out. Okay. And this is a gorgeous platter, by the way. Thank you. Can I just show it off? Thank you. Pretty. These are from home. I'm big on so my cute. platters and things. Okay. Let me just do this really fast. These so are nice my roasted artichokes. 20 minutes, 25 maybe. At 425, you said, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. That looks so yummy and so, so easy. It really yummy and easy and can be made ahead and then just go ahead and at, at the last minute pull it, um, out. pull it out. So let me just put this here for that now. That great. Shirley, you ready? It's beautiful. Still steaming. Ooh. I know. Oh, Rainia. I know. So, and I made you a little bit of rice too. Because you need to have that. Yeah. Well, just drop that. Okay. So. <gasps> How am I going to do this? I don't know. You I don't tell either. me. Where's oh. my uncle when you need him? <laughs> <laughs> Let's All see. Right. What do we have? Do you want this fork? How about this? Will that help? And I stabbed <laughs> you with the fork. <laughs> no, no, you really didn't. This is good. But I, but I, what I wanted to do was get it off in one piece. I truly believe that chefs lose feeling in their fingers. Well, this one does. <laughs> so now take a look at this. I, All I, those juices in there. Yeah, so I don't know really quite. I'm, I'm going to try to do this in such a gentle way so that I don't. Do you want me to take the. Um, here. So this gratin. This is all yummy good stuff. I was going to take that thing. Just goes all the way around here. All the way around. You get the drift. How beautiful. Yeah, how are we doing on time? I don't want to. Are we good? Let's see. Let's see if Sydney is talking to me. Like. Uh, Two more minutes, she said. Oh, we have, have so much time. I have more time than I know what to do with. <laughs> so you take the gratin and you put it all the way around the lamb. Doesn't that look delicious? It does. And like I said, I think the platter really helps. Now, too. I have to tell so you, I need you today to do something for me. I would love to. I am Orthodox and I fast. So from you need meat. me to try it? I'm not, I can't even so much as put my lips to this and you know how hard this is for me because you, know, you just you that's not a favor I would be happy to <laughs> you have to tell me what you think okay so how, all right so what there we got I never that. cut into the lamb though my my uncle always does it so how do how well, are we going to cut into first this? I'll put a few little rosemary sprigs just for some garnish and I'm sure hoping that we're getting this beautiful 
beautiful. Yes, There's you can some. See it. Look at that. Isn't that nice? Really pretty. So first things first, I need your big plate. That looks nice. <sighs> Here's my big plate. And on your big plate, and some rice. Yes, I'll put some rice down. There we go. Just put that over here for now. <laughs> and you need um, a spoon for your. Um, Got it. That's for this. Okay. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just cut you a nice piece of lamb. Can't wait. And give it to you with the gratin. I'm going to try the artichokes while you cut. Okay. Because they I'm look so gonna yummy. I'm just cut it right off of here. Oh, it's perfect. Now, are you making lamb this weekend? Oh, um, yes. Of I, course this, you are. I, I'm having what I like to call the mm. orphans for dinner. These are all the people who have no place to go, like, and their families don't live here. And, oh, that is and so, so good. So we're having, we're having a nice big uh, f friend and family feast on Sunday. And oh. yes, I'm making lamb. Look at that. Look at I love that. I'd like to sort of pick this up, if I may. Mm-hmm. And I want you to see that it's just the perfect temperature. Isn't that beautiful? Lovely. Can you capture that? I okay. think he did. Okay, and now we'll just add a little bit of the gratin to More this. More carbs. I say yes every time. And a little bit of the tomato. Lovely. And oh, Rainia, you're the best. Now I'd like you to tell me what you think. I will. Let me take a big old bite of this lamb. One of my favorites. It looks so nice and tender. Mm. I'll tell you, this took just under three hours mm. yesterday. Beautiful. Well, for a copy of today's recipes, you can go to kdka.com slash PTL. We have them posted for you there, along with a link to Rainia's Catering. And happy Orthodox Easter to those of you who are celebrating this Sunday, including you, Rainia. And you. Just